audio check, quick audio check. We're gonna go ahead and do a sync check. So, one, two, one, two. Okay, it didn't load, so one, two, one, two. And then one, two, one, two. Like we are good.
good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Um, hi everyone, welcome to chat. <laughs> Me panicking. No, you're fine, you're fine. Let's let, guys. Let's actually run a poll. Mobile or desktop Twitch? I am a diehard. Mobile is good or desktop is top tier. Okay, we're gonna have the polo for a few minutes so people coming in can vote. Poll is up. Do you guys prefer mobile or desktop Twitch? We have one vote for desktop. Desktop is far superior to mobile because one, it is a lot easier to clip. Two, it is a lot, you can just see the third party emotes. We got two for desktop. Hi Scott, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. You can only watch a mobile. See, that's fine. That's fine. But if you had a choice, would you watch on desktop? Hmm. Because, like, I don't watch Twitch on the go anymore because the one day that I did watch Twitch on mobile, it fucking ate up my data. Because, like, I, I I used to have a cap for my data. Pulls up, go vote, guys. Like, I used to have a cap. And I literally used, like, two gigs of my data watching 30 minutes of a Twitch stream. My parents got mad at me. <laughs> okay so go vote on the poll guys we need to decide noun for once noun for once what does that mean mobile or desktop twitch right now desktop still has a majority okay let's go ahead and get started with the game okay so i played a little bit offline um, I, okay, yeah, I said a little bit offline, but literally I played <laughs> right before stream to grind some of the hidden areas. Okay, so first I want to see if I can upgrade any tools. Oh, also today, I forgot to mention it earlier, but instead of doing Yulapi Lose, I think I want to do Reacts. Because what I will do for my favorite streamers is I will clip their stream lives, and I try to do that segment once a month, so we're probably gonna do that at the end of the stream instead of Yulafi Lose today. So, I need to lower my music down, because it is way too loud. Okay, yeah, that's better. Oh, we have a new donation goal. Where is it? Here? Nope! Here? Because <laughs> if you were in stream yesterday, my headset broke, because I, I use um, Raycon earbuds. But for some reason, they, they break really easily and it sucks. So, like, the left one is completely dead. I'm using the right bud, but it's at, like, 50% volume. So, like, the levels are all fucked up. So, new dono go, guys. Megan wants new earbuds. Por favor. It's fine. Don't feel obligated. We're just changing the goal. <laughs> I know. Just in general, ad revenue is kind of shit. Wait. If I evolve to the giant sword, do I lose the Meta Knight? I'm reacting to my own clips now. I'm reacting to, like, um, streamer friends clips. Reacting to my own clips would be fucking cringe. <laughs> but guys, guys, if you do clip this stream, I usually will, wa will watch them all at the end of the month. That way I can make my monthly best of compilation. So I really appreciate you guys. If you do clips during the if you do clip during the live or clip VODs, because, like, one, it helps with my growth. And also, it's really cool and funny to see what you guys think is funny. <laughs> also, if you guys are gonna clip, click bait the shit out of the title. <laughs> On Decon, try avoid complaining about ads, you're gonna annoy me. I know ads suck, but it's part of the stream, Sag. Okay. We can go ahead and upgrade this one, because I think I have nine gems. I can afford to splurge a little bit. <laughs> Right now, the poll is still up, guys. Is Twitch desktop or mobile better? Right now, we are tied up. I should have made mobile the option for mobile mobile is better. No, you're fine, Decon. It's fine. Ooh. Okay, I don't think we've gone to one day area remains, so I think we're good. No, you're fine. You're fine, hon. I always give people, like, a warning. Wait, the... <laughs> 
This looks like those little, like, frou-frou wigs, like the old... <laughs> Not the old people, but like... The, da -da -da -da. the people who wrote the Constitution would wear. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. Okay, I'm just gonna evolve everything that I can for right now. Hey guys, go vote! We have a tie in the poll. Hi Mac, welcome to stream, hope you're doing well today. We got a pencil draw. Okay, the poll was inconclusive. You guys cannot make a decision. So therefore... Wait, I didn't vote in my own poll. I could have voted and I would have voted desktop. Easy. Wait, wait, what are you talking about, Issa? You're talking about food? <laughs> oh, you're talking about your burger build. <laughs> okay, I don't think I can upgrade- Whoa! Well, this is wild. It's interesting to see how the power-ups, like, drastically change in terms of design. I don't like how that looks. <laughs> yeah, Decon, if you have another nickname that you want to go by, I can gladly go by it if you want. Because, <laughs> like, I'm sure it's gotta be confusing if you hear me say, like, on all the time. <laughs> Beef is mid- okay. My mom growing up, she wouldn't bake with beef, like ground beef, so she would get turkey because one turkey is supposedly healthier and also it's cheaper. So like I never had a lot of ground beef growing up. So if I go and get like tacos and they have a beef option, it tastes funny to me. Cause like I'm so used to the taste of ground turkey. It's wild. Like I don't mind. D is cute? Okay, we'll go by D. <laughs> um Wow! <laughs> oh, that's cool. I still want to go and- Wait, we can- Oh, wait, we can't- We should not upgrade the, the sword. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I think I want to do a few rounds of the kitchen. Ooh, earlier? Okay, when I played early- Okay. <laughs> Oh, I killed them both. I only meant to kill one of them. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so earlier when I played offline, I finally was able to beat the frenzy gig without failing. So I finally did it, and then I think I earned like a little figurine. Yeah, I agree. I used to hate cranberry sauce, but once I hit, like, 13, like, when your palate starts maturing, like, the sweet and savory combo is so good. So good. <laughs> yeah, we're literally all ground beef haters. <laughs> Should we do another poll? Should we do another poll? <laughs> if you guys are new, I like doing a lot of predictions and polls. Ground beef? Wait, we need Emmy beef in chat. Where is Emmy beef? <laughs> good... Or tab, tab. Okay, we have a new poll. Ground beef, good, or ground turk is better? Yeah, I agree. Like, regular turkey is made, but ground turkey is pretty good. I don't know, like, how they do it, but it's better. <laughs> I guess my palate has not matured, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I want to do a few rounds of Frenzy before we start doing the actual story. Can have real beef. <laughs> okay, everybody be quiet. Actually, keep chatting. <laughs> I was joking, I was joking, I was memeing. No, oh, wrong way. Fuck! I 
I'm act I actually threw because I messed up. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally done. I'm not gonna beat the lunch rush. Fuck me. I'm gonna die in a video game. <laughs> oh my god! D d order faster! <laughs> I, I say this literally every time I play this game up, but when you go to order somewhere, know what you fucking want before you walk up to the counter. Let's go again. Let's try again. Wow, nobody thinks ground beef is good. Interesting. That is crazy. I'm holding up pretty well. I haven't cracked under the pressure yet. Sometimes I panic and forget what I want. Yeah. I, I see that, but also, like... Uh, <laughs> it's just really annoying for the worker. Because, like, if you have five people in a row who don't know what they fucking want, it's annoying as shit. Oh my god, I'm running out of time! No! Ah! Damn, I almost had it. I have, like, three seconds left on the clock. I almost had it. <sighs> one more time, one more time. You asked for a burger at an ice cream shop? <laughs> nice one. I don't think I've ever fucked up that bad. I think the hardest thing when you're ordering is, like, ordering for someone else. Like, especially getting, like, their coffee or their drink. It, it's- Because, like, everyone is so particular with, like, their coffee order, right? And specifically, when, like, my sister goes out to buy something for me, I will, like, text everything out for her word for word. And I'm like, just read out this, and then you're set. You are good to go. No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, wrong way! One more, one more. I need to do it one more time. <laughs> yeah, I know, like... I literally will make it as- fuck, I will make it as clear as possible for, like, whoever's ordering for me, right? But I think it was last week, like, we went- my dad went into McDonald's and I tested- I texted him exactly what I wanted. I told him I wanted a mango smoothie. And his dumbass- <laughs> I love my dad, I'm joking. But he- he ordered the mango slushie and I- I literally told him, just read off what I texted you. It's not that hard. Okay, I'm getting distracted thinking about that. Cause, like, wait! Oh, I thought it was over. <laughs> I thought it was done. Like, okay, I wasn't mad. I was just slightly annoyed because, like, he walked up to the car and I immediately knew he bought the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't understand why they get mad at you when you literally save them. It's called, like, privilege. Like, once you have something and then it's taken away, you just become so unappreciative. This is a... Uh... A commentary on modern society. Yeah, a slushy is good, but it's not what I wanted, you know? Because, like, I know we have a lot of EU people who watch, but, like, American fast food is dog shit. Like, anytime I've traveled and tried, like, foreign versions of fast food, it's so much better. Like, Japanese McDonald's, oh my god, it is so fucking good. It's probably because it has, like, <laughs> more, like, MSG and shit, but it's still pretty solid. Okay, we did our shifts for the day. We got no money because we absolutely threw. We warmed up. Yeah, I still have a few more, like, secret levels to explore here. I know. I, I'm always down for McDonald's. It's really bad. 
Okay, I think my- okay, the Megan meal, the piece in 17 meal, would be a double quarter pounder with extra ketchup, mustard, and just cheese, because I don't like veggies. Probably like a strawberry banana shake. Nope, smoothie. And then a small fry. That is what- wait, I need to- Wait one second, one second. My stream elements doesn't have a gifted sub anymore. God damn. Hey, there we go, there we go. <clears throat> what shirt would the workers wear? Okay, sorry. I had to gift stream elements a sub because I wasn't typing my emotes in chat and I got annoyed. So that. Wait, we hit our sub goal. Ooh, let's go. But that was me, that was me. <laughs> what shirts would they wear? Okay, I'm self-reporting. I'm self-reporting. Nobody, nobody, nobody say anything. But I am a big fan of maid cafes. I, I'm a big fan. I'm being honest. I am a huge fan. So, if there was ever, like, an arc where McDonald's employees could wear, like, something, like, a little bit frilly or, like, kind of cute... Dude, I would go through the drive-thru every fucking day. <laughs> okay, let's get a new sub goal up since I technically broke it, Sag. <clears throat> you new sub goal up! If we have 50 subs, you guys get three- You guys get three new sub only emotes. Oh, dude, when McDonald's had the chicken strips, that was the best McDonald's arp. Your next career move? <laughs> Okay, let's start playing, let's start playing. We've been stalling for 20 minutes now. <laughs> Dude, I think working at a cafe would be really cute and fun. But then, okay. Imagine someone you know comes in, wouldn't that be cringe? That's what I'm generally scared of, because like, you know, I'm confident, I like how I look, I think I would look cute. But, uh... <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, you know how people, like, take pictures with the workers? Which I think is cute, that's fine. But, like... I don't want to be known for that, you know what I mean? And also, like... At places like that... Like, there's always gonna be creeps, so... Did we merc that penguin? Favorite pe- Ugh. Favorite penguin, favorite Pokemon. Um, I think because I didn't play the games, I didn't play the card games. I grew up watching the show, and I think my favorite like episodes in the show were the. It's like where they would have like the talent shows for Pokemon, and they would like do their moves and look cute and stuff. I think like it was the arc where like May was involved, and like I think my favorite Pokemon to like watch was definitely Skitty, because I liked how Skitty could have the move that she could do, like, anything. Or, like, any cat Pokemon I like the look of. Mainly because, like, I, I desperately wanted a cat when I was little. Uh, yeah, Pokemon Contest, that's what it- Okay, that makes literally so much sense. How did, it not, how did that not, like, register? <laughs> I need to be, like, exploring for secrets. Is the music good or is it too loud? Like, I feel like it's fine. <laughs> it's good? Okay. Because I know for me, like, I like when the music is almost at the same, like, level as I am. Ooh, secret? <gasps> secret! Did we kill this guy? <laughs> I love slicing people in their sleep. He's homeless, so yes. See, I made that joke last week, Meg. Don't steal my jokes.
Nernsman Zeno? Okay. That's from like the one of the newer generations, right? I think that's the the flying squirrel Pokemon, yeah. Cause I I legit I think I only know like the first three gens of Pokemon. Like I think what's the I think the newest Pokemon game I have, and like literally the only Pokemon game I have is Pokemon Sword. Cause my friend bought it for me. But I haven't played it enough. Uh oh, Rut Row, Rut Row. Are you back? We're back. Okay, can I preface? Um, there's some windstorms in my area. Like, just in a lot of spots in Washington right now. So stream may, like, drop frames. It may F. So don't freak out. It's normal. Anyway, let's go back to it. <laughs> yeah, I think the reason why I purchased the sword version was because... I like the look of the box art way more. <laughs> oh, who did I pick? I can't remember. I think I chose the fire one. And I remember, because, like, my friend, he sent me the money to, like, buy the game, so I didn't, like, buy it technically myself. And he, he was like, I knew you were gonna buy <laughs> the sword one, because, like, the art is so much better. Yeah, I got Score Bunny, I think. That's what it was. See, I was, like, not into the game at all. It's just, like, I got bored of it. I don't know. Pokemon stream someday? I want to do Pokemon at some point, but, like, I feel like Pokemon has such, like... Similar to Minecraft, where, like, the fans are, like, into it. And, like, I never played the game when I was younger. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of the fandom is what I'm trying to say. Oh, fuck. I mean, frick. <laughs> yeah, you're right, D. D. I'm, I'm super good at Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I... No, I spam too much. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. What am I gonna do now? Fuck! Okay, serious question. Serious question. Is there any way for me to get more cans? Like, a asking for a friend, but also I'm technically asking- Oh, wait, okay. Maybe? Ah, oh, dude, it's full. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Saved. Yeah, I was I was popping off yesterday. I was doing fucking great in Mario Kart. It was crazy. I like that. Yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> Cause I thought if it, I thought it would have respawned if I like uncaptured it. <clears throat> oh, Dee Dee, do you, do you want to go by Dee Dee Decon? I think Dee Dee's cuter. Sounds like King Dee Dee Dee. <laughs> I know, it's wild, like, I woke up to, like, a fucking Amber Alert this morning and be like, oh, your power may go out today, and it's like, fuck, great. So I tried to get, like, all the laundry done before stream today. Because, <laughs> like, thankfully, we have, like, a washer and dryer in our house, thank god. Because, like, anytime, like, our dryer has broken or, like, the washer is broken, Shout out to anybody who has to like wash their clothes with, like a laundromat. It sucks. Like it, 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 it's the worst. I think D D is the only acceptable choice. Okay, got it, boss. <laughs> oh. I'm just like running right into like every single attack. Yeah! Oh my god. The only thing we have to worry about here is like the Mount Rainier. Which is not fun to think about. Because <clears throat> like if Mount Rainier goes off, like it's gonna fuck over like the whole state essentially. So, <laughs> Lamau. 
like, not necessarily just from the Lahar, but, but, like, the Ash and shit. I remember, like, distinctly, we had a lesson in 7th grade science. And we watched, like, this really graphic video of, like, people reenacting, like, what would happen during Lahar. And also, like, it would it was showing, like, the flood going through, like, your town. And then, like, everyone running away from it. Like, it was really scary shit. Like, I legit had nightmares for, like, a week after. Because, like, I was so scared that something would happen. I mean, like, I feel like a little, like, 7th grader could handle it, but, like, I guess little Megan couldn't handle it. Oh! Wait! Wait! I, I don't have a gun! I don't have a gun! Okay. I, I forgot the guy up there has a gun. Come on! Oh, got it. Easy. Because, like, in school... Because usually for, like, certain, like, lessons in science, you have to sign, like, a waiver. Not a waiver, but, like, a permission slip. Be like, oh, is it okay for your kid to, like, learn this lesson today? And I try to think, like... Did I have to get a permission slip? Because, like, I think we had to have a permission slip for, um... When we were learning about, like, evolution. Because you know how, like, some people believe in, like, creationism? Whatever. But I remember we had to get, like, parents to sign off on that. Oh, wait! Dude, I got that at the last second. Yeah, I agree. It definitely scarred little Megan, along with, like, the other kids in the class. Like, vibes were just totally off <laughs> for the rest of the class. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's because, like, um, anyone who's foreign, a lot of Americans, even though, like, we have the right to, like, why am I getting political? Um, even though we have the right to, like, religious freedom, there's still a lot of, like, Christian values integrated into, like, school and modern society. So, even though, like, teachers aren't supposed to push, like, a certain, like, religion or narrative, like, some parents still get upset. Like, there were some teachers who got upset that other kids were reading Harry Potter in class. It, it, like, some parents just take it too far and it's like... Uh, CRT. <laughs> but... Okay, anybody who doesn't know, I'm fucking lefty. I... Okay, I'm not... I'm not fucking cringe. Like, a lot of parents think that if... If they don't, like teach stuff in school that, like, respects their religion, then they'll get upset. It's- it's- it's crazy. Like, thankfully, like, our district is not too insane, but... There's definitely some wild teachers. <clears throat> when am I running for president? Um, when I'm 35, maybe. But, okay, in order to, like, run for any congressional office, you have to be, like, hella rich. Or get a lot of donations, so... If we are gonna run for president, Megan... Wait, I have to be 35. So in 12 years. Megan, 2034. We need to get lots of boilers, okay? We need to build up our <laughs> portfolio. And get some oilers to help my campaign. I will promise soda... <laughs> I will promise um, soda in the water fountains. And also, I will repay all student debt. I can make that promise. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. It, the reason why I like the U.S. government is about money is because we're a capitalist society. No, that's the only reason why. <clears throat> yes, I will put maid dresses in every restaurant. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, see, why am I self-reporting? What type of soda? Um, Sprite. That way it looks like water. That way people who don't know what soda will assume it's water. Easy. That way, not all parents, like parents who don't know, they go into the school, they see, oh, it's clear water. It's not dirty water. It's actually clear water, but technically it's bright. <clears throat> yeah, I had a friend who wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter either. It was wild. 
it, like, it's not like we were reading Harry Potter as part of the curriculum. Like, it was just during silent reading time. Like, the parent got mad that other kids were reading Harry Potter in school during quiet reading time. It was fucking insane. <clears throat> Oh wait, I, I was looking over here thinking, I was like, oh, do we need a gun? But I forgot I can eat this. No, Issa, I'm sure... I'm sure there's some, like, male maid cafes. I'm sure there are. There has to be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it's not your kid, don't worry about it. Like, everyone has the right to follow whatever religion they want, but, like, don't push your beliefs onto other people. Dude, I love the gun so much. <laughs> it's just going... Oh, I missed, I missed. <laughs> okay, I'm saying guns in a video game. In a video game, okay? In a video game. I don't like guns IRL. In a video game, they're fine. Yeah, I agree. Like, most public education, like, they're not there to be evil. But yeah. That's what a lot of, like, parents think, and it's insane. I know I'm talking loud today, but <laughs> they're fine, they're fine. As long as they don't hear me talking about being fucking gay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> okay, I was talking to my dad about it, and he's like, Megan, why aren't you talking about hot political topics? He's like, you would get very popular. And I was like, Dad, you know I'm a fucking progressive, right? People don't like the left here. And he's like, true, but also... And I'm like, no, I don't- I don't want to- Cause like, I feel like I'm fairly educated on the topic, but like, I- Cause like, when you start talking about politics, people get fucking debate Andy and it's annoying. So it's like, I- I can't handle that shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, politics with the side of Kirby? That is what we want. Oh, I missed a lot. Okay. That's fine. We'll come back to it later. Or maybe the parent was mad that they found out about Harry Potter? Probably. Yeah, can we get some Eastside Two Sevens in chat for the Forgotten Waddle Dees? Remember, we are we are streaming today in honor of all the Waddle Dees I have forgotten and left behind. Purple hearts for them. <laughs> Two million megbugs for a political debate. Yeah, I think that would be like an interesting stream, but I don't think I can handle the chat room. Because, okay, with, like, political debates, a lot of certain arguments come from a place of, like, lack of understanding, and it's- it's frustrating, because, like, okay, at its core, a debate is not meant to educate. It's more to, like, prove yourself right. So, like, let's say we're talking about a certain issue, right? And, like, both sides are very opinionated. You're not gonna change the individual's mind, right? Like, you're only gonna, like, argue, and it's not gonna be productive. So no problem. We'll see you next time, Didi. Hope you have a good one. Have fun, I guess, with studying. <laughs> so, like, like, debates 
at its core, I think it's more entertainment than like educational. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> it wasn't it last week? It was last week, right? Where Shadows are redeemed, I posted Twitter draft. Does anybody else have 20k points saved up for it? <laughs> I think it's so funny. Like, just murking the sleeping creatures. Because, like, they're literally doing nothing. They're not attacking me. They're not being mean. They're just existing. You're now at 3k? Sheesh. 9.5, okay. I think Hacker, I think you have the most out of everyone right now. 6.3, let's go. Yeah, I think I hit like 600, no, 700k in Hassan's yesterday. The so chatters, if you're trying to grind up channel points, you have to watch the stream. And also, if you subscribe or use your Amazon Prime sub, you get a multiplier in your channel points. Pretty sick. Oh, I hate- I hate ice stages. I do not like them at all. Dude, the range on this gun is insane! Oh! <laughs> okay, the icicles kind of scared me a little bit. But only a little bit. Yeah, and win predictions. Easy. <laughs> okay! I was like, I knew there was something there. Noxious amount of damage right there. Ooh. Yeah, I definitely think it's fun. Like once you have like an, an obnoxious amount of points, like it, like points are meaningless. Like it's just for clout and chat. Like it's so fun to drop like a super obnoxious amount in like predictions. Like sometimes if I can afford it, like I'll put 10k in doubt. Like I think anytime Scootish does like uh, for anyone in front of the show, Scootish partner streamer, he has like a, a channel point option where he'll like open a Pokemon pack. Wait, I had a joke. I'm not going to say the joke because I am not an edgy streamer. <laughs> But he has a channel point option to where he'll like open a pack of Pokemon cards and I will always put 10k points. No, yesterday! Yesterday! He pulled a bad card and like he always memes, he's like, go all in on believe, come on, all in. So I put like 27k on doubt for bad card and I literally went up 50k. I was up nearly 100%. It was crazy. So now I have like 53,000 in Scootish's chat. Let's fucking go. See, I'm usually a believer if it's like related to skill, but if it's for like for like cards, I would put doubt because it's funny. It's funny if he pulls like a bad card, and then you get to like snicker. <laughs> You're like, ha, bad card, lamau. <clears throat> like, I think I would like to add more like channel point rewards. Oh my god, another one. But I don't know what I want to add, because, like, I don't want them to be too distracting from stream. And I, I kind of want them to, like, showcase, like, some type of skill I have. That's why, like, I like my channel point rewards where it's, like, singing or... 
Like, I'll write your name. Like, it, it's related to, like, something I can do, right? Dude, this gun is way too OP. I'm just murking everybody. Oh! Oh no. No, this is not what I wanted. Easy. Ooh. I wanted to try out the new hammer. Yeah, I, I thought about, like, making me draw something, but I know for me, having people do, like, requests is, like, it's fine, but it gets annoying. That's why, like, for the Megan will sing a song, I don't necessarily allow for requests. Because, like, it gets annoying. Because, like, what if I, like, don't know the song, or, like, what if I don't feel comfortable? Like, I don't think anybody would, like, request something bad, but, like, what if someone is, like, draw a dragon, and it's, like... No, I'm not gonna draw a fucking dragon. So maybe, maybe. Channel point redemptions to oh okay to not be like too distracting because like I don't want like a channel point redemption to like divert from the stream for more than like a few minutes. No problem. We'll see you later, hacker. I appreciate you hanging out with us for a little bit today. Hope classes go well. Like I think like the singing redemption usually won't be longer than like three minutes because I know not necessarily oh. There was a corridor! There was a corridor! Let me go back! Cause like, I know not necessarily like, everyone likes those type of, types of redemptions. So it's like... Um... I don't want people to like, leave the stream because they don't like it. Cause like, I understand, cause like, the way my stream is like, formatted, I have like, a different like, segment. Um... Like, i.e. we do the game of the day for about two hours, and then Animal Crossing for one, and then... Oh fuck! And then, like, you laugh, you lose at the end. Like, I know people will, like, show up for specific segments, and I know people have their favorites. And, like, I don't necessarily want people to, like, leave because they don't want to, they don't like a segment. You know what I mean? So it's definitely something I have to keep in mind. Dude, I love the hammer so much. I mean, it's not as fun as the gun, but it's still pretty solid. Whoa. What's this? Oh, it's people asleep. I was like, did I fucking enable that emote? <laughs> See, like, I just enabled a bunch of 7TV ones that I thought were cute. And I don't necessarily remember them all. Dude, what if I did a sleeping stream? I think that'd be cringe. Oh! It would- I think it would be a good gag. Maybe we could do that for next April Fools. Okay, because, like, the issue with the sleeping stream is I toss and turn a lot. So I would be concerned about, like, showing stuff is what I would say lightly. So it's like, I don't want to, like, leak anything, you know? <laughs> I know, it's, it's wild to think how, like, fast time passes. Like, it's all- yeah, it's, it's literally almost been a month- oh, I, I guess I can't kill them? What? Like, it's almost been a month since my birthday. Wait. 
I'm missing one. Is it over here? No. Am I blind? Okay, I was like, how did I not find it? <laughs> Wait, did you see it? I kind of like walked around it like it was so happy to see me. And then when I kept like running around, it got sad. <laughs> Look at it. It's so sad now. <laughs> what if I just left it behind? <laughs> oh, I can teleport. are the cutest thing. But I still feel no remorse. It's a timing one. Timing good. No, I am not a sadist. No. -uh. <laughs> the only in a video game am I violent. I am the most caring and loving person IRL. It's just in a video game. No, I- it's not that I show my true colors. <laughs> it's just like, in a video game it's fun to be like, a little bit evil, you know? Okay, I feel like we're supposed to go up. Secret? Oh, I thought there for sure would be like a secret path here. No, I literally hate Minecraft. <laughs> oh wait, wrong button. No, I- no, I do not want to lose the hammer. You read it the last second. Minecraft combat? Oh, you are right. There is combat in the game, huh? Talking about combat? You guys know what's coming, huh? An ad break is coming. So you can avoid that ad break attack by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad previewing all month long, and you get super cool sub only emotes. Um, if you have an Amazon Prime link, it's here. Twitch account, get a free Amazon Prime sub. I know my Prime sub went to Rainy Day Games this month. Or, if we have any secret Oilers, now is the time to gift. 
Otherwise, get a snack, get a water if you need it. We will see some of you guys in a few. How do I not like a sandbox game? I feel like games that are too open-ended, like, they don't give a lot of direction and I, I feel overwhelmed, I think. Because I like story games a lot, because, like, it always tells you what to do, right? Yeah, I think Minecraft is, like, good for what it is, but it's not for me, I guess. Oh, fuck. I fell off. Oh, moves! I do not like this. No, no, I hate this. Oh, oh, whoa, I did not like that. Okay, I feel like I'm supposed to go this way, so we're gonna go back. Yeah, I've seen videos of the, like, the Hunger Games, but and that looks fun. Like, I think any game mode with, like, Battle Royale is automatically good. Let's go, we got them all. Dude, is this gonna be like a completionist one where I'm gonna get them all for a shot? You have to go to art class? No problem. Enjoy to hang out with you as always, Issa. We'll see you next time. It's fun if you don't care for the actual game. Hi, Kat. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> yeah, any other Minecraft haters in the chat? I, I need some support right now. <laughs> cool, the TikTok algo loves me now. <laughs> You're like not complaining, but well, that's good. Cause like, okay, fuck. The thing I don't necessarily like about TikTok is like, you know how I'm like on Twitter or Instagram, you can like filter your feed by like the most recent posts. You can't really do that on TikTok, and it's annoying. Cause it's like I feel like I always miss posts from people that I like. Okay, there's nothing here. I think- I think we got almost all the Waddle Dees in this stage. Maybe? Crossing my fingers? Oh, I missed one! And can we get some salutes in chat for the one Waddle Dee I missed? God, I was so close on this level! <laughs> yeah, I think what's cool... And what also sucks about, like, the TikTok comments is, like, usually I get, like, a notification in, like, my activity feed. But based on, like, your privacy settings for your account, or, like, yeah, I think just your privacy settings. Like, sometimes I don't get a notification for certain accounts, and I feel bad when I miss comments. So usually, like, like, I will go through my own feed and see if I missed anything. Like, I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do that, because, like... Not that I get, like, a lot of comments, but I get a decent amount for my size. Because all of you little zoomers on TikTok, apparently you guys like me enough to, like, actually talk to me and leave comments. So I try and reply to, like, as many of them as I can. But yeah. Because, like, I think it's important to, like, take that extra time and, like, respond to people, you know? Like, it makes your, like, viewers feel appreciated more. I was like, Pago. <laughs> That's nice. Enjoy that intent attention while you guys have it. Because one day I'm going to be super famous. You know? Imagine. <laughs> Can I just say the ego personality is fake? I'm not a narcissist. 
I mean, maybe a little bit, but I feel like every streamer has to have some facet of narcissism. Loki Heike. <laughs> yeah, you can say you were here, Mac. <laughs> yeah, like I said before, I'm gonna do like the time trial levels off stream. We want to win predictions. Maybe we can do a prediction to see, like, if I get all the waddledies. But honestly, if we do that, I, I literally- Oh. I don't like this. I, I don't think there's ever been a stage where I got all the waddledies, except for, like, the first, like, tutorial stage. <laughs> I, I think the gun and the hammer- <laughs> have got to be my favorite power-ups. Yeah, I think we'll do predictions starting the next level. Or maybe maybe we can do one now. Let's start one now. Because I know all you little chatters like gambling. <laughs> they have all the waddle beans. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Okay, we have a prediction up. It is for save all the Waddle Dees in this level, in this level, in this level. In... We have believe yeast. Yee, because the S wouldn't fit. No soldier left behind, and then no salutes in chat. There we go. Prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Like Max said, we did get kind of close on the last level. Okay, back to the game. Whoa, that guy was going pretty fast. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I, no! No, please don't let me lose the hammer. Please. Save. You got 69 in doubt. Let's fucking go. Any believers? Anybody think we can save all of them? Oh no. Dude, I am so low on health right now. God damn it. I didn't jump in time. Wait, I died? In a video game? <laughs> oh, saved. Ooh. Look how happy he is. And if you ignore him? Come on, be sad, be sad. Oh, I didn't mean to touch him. Oopsie. If you don't save them, they look sad for a little bit, and it's really funny. Did you watch Hassan on Leftovers? Yes. I- okay. I am so far behind on the H3 podcast. I think I'm literally, like, two months behind. Because I usually watch more streams than I do YouTube now. But I watch, like, a little bit of the Leftovers if they film it live. So, Yes. I will watch anything that Hassan is in. I am such a fucking sim. <laughs> oh, okay, that did not work. Oh, there is something here. Secret. Yeah, I think the first time I ever, like, heard of Twitch was when the H3 podcast, like, initially streamed their podcast on Twitch. 
But like, I didn't start watching Twitch then. I only started like, diehard watching Twitch about like, Like how like the H3 podcast has changed over the years. I like how they have more like personalities from like the crew. Cause I feel like it's nice to, like it feels like everybody is like friends, you know? And it's always just like a good time. Oh, okay. Like how do we get out of here? Okay, I feel like I'm supposed to go this way. podcasts especially it takes a while to like find a good flow in like your chemistry with your co-host or like any guest you have that's why like I feel like a podcast takes like at least like a few months for it to like get good you know <laughs> Dude, I love every single pop in this game they're so fucking funny to do I know what I need to do I need to drop this get some fire and then melt the ice so <laughs> there we go easy oh three out of five BB I don't think there's anything else here though Oh, just another wind dude, okay. Oh no, my prediction! Yeah, we didn't have any believers, so I think you just get refunded. Sag. I see them, I see them. There we go, easy. Four to five BB. We're on track. Oh, I, I did not see them back there. fire when we go home. I need it, I need it, please. 
Oh no, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Please, please, come back! Dude, last second again. Oh, okay. I didn't think I'd fall. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Okay, we got all of the hidden waddle these. We're on track. Let's see. Let's see. Oh no, I missed something. Fuck. It must have been near the beginning. Oh no, I was close again. We were close. I think we just missed the one waddle dee. Ah, we were so close. We only missed the one. Can we get some salutes in chat? We only missed one. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Praise. <laughs> that works too. They're in our thoughts and prayers. <laughs> Ooh, the Battle of the Blizzard Bridge. I don't know why I said that so fucking weird. Okay, let's get a new prediction up, guys. Same thing, will I be able to save all the Waddle Dees in this level? Go oh, Gambit Chat. I have no health right now. <laughs> that is not ideal. forget for the props you can hold the button. Who knew? Hi, Amy. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today.
Okay, I think the flamethrower is now my new favorite. Now that I know I can just like infinitely spit fire, this is insane. Osrai level? Because I love levels like these. Okay, that that was really bad. I should I should not have blown right there. Oh! I thought she was gonna spin out. Secret? Were there more hidden paths like this one? Uh oh. We're gonna spawn over here, okay. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go in one long swoop. There we go. Oh fuck, I did the wrong thing, wrong thing! Oh, reset? Fuck, come on. Fucking button, dude. End me, P please. Just. Oh, I thought it would still be here. We're fine. We're fine. We already missed the wall. The run is ruined. Get back to it. Back to it. I think my favorite part of the game so far has to be the stadium, where you just fight all the bosses. Oh! No! Noted, we cannot hit him as he is spinning out as well. We got the hammer back, my favorite. Okay. Okay, there's probably a secret path between every fight, right? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, was it only one try? No, please don't tell me it was only one shot. Can I try again? Okay, honestly, I feel like I could have just, like, flown up from the bottom level up. To BH. Please tell me we can go again. Okay, we can go again. Okay, we got it. Second try. Easy. Run this guy over. Okay, we're done. <laughs> I'll be back, no problem. A have fun at the store. <laughs> Make sure to get some snacks for me too, hon, okay? Talk to you later, Emmy. Hmm. Do we have enough health to where I'll just respawn if I can't fly? We're gonna try again. One more time. Okay, I'm trying to get the shadow to line up. There we go. There's two of them? Two more hits. Oh, he ate me. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't know he could eat you. back.
Okay, I know what I need to do. I see what I need to do now. Wait, first I need to get my health back. Their first order of business. Oh, I got it! Okay, I wasn't even trying! Hi, Patch. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. There we go. Okay. Finally. I'm loving the game so far. I love like the the shark the the shark the contrast of like the super like aggressive power ups and like all the cute creatures. Okay, beat them without getting hit. That's like impossible. Yeah, I I definitely will have to. I like this stage a lot. Like I'm definitely have to like play it again because I just like boss runs. Okay, can we get some salutes in chat for the Waddle Dees? We missed a lot in this stage. Can we get some salutes, please? Sag. <laughs> Cause like... I know it's not necessarily like as fun and it's like it's low-key frustrating to play games like this, like with puzzles. But I think it's fun just exploring. Do I have a favorite power up? I think either the gun or the hammer. Because they're just so aggressive. And like the range for the gun is crazy. It's insanely big. Okay, time for the boss fight. Wait, is this the end? Oh, I see something, like, in the very tippy top, like, in the distance. Okay. Let's go ahead and start a prediction for this stage. Will I save all the Waddle Dees in this level? Go place your bets, chat. Prediction is up and running. Okay, I know one of the Waddle Dees is gonna be no damage run, which I don't know if I can do. I will be honest. And I do literally have the worst power-up right now, the, the freaking ice. Yes, the skating is cute, but it's literally worst. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can everybody take note? I'm literally skating up the steps. How is this possible? Literally impossible. <laughs> wait, secret? Oh, I can't jump. You see the little light here? Seems like there'd be something there. range of the fire the most. So I think we're gonna go with the fire. Dude, I love all the camera angles. Wait, do it again, do it again. The slow pan up. It's such a nice drone shot. Dude, if I had a drone, that's all I would be doing. <gasps> I 
my god, is it him? Damage this run. I can do it. Oh my god, he got so cool. Fuck. Okay, damage this run ruin. <laughs> Where'd he go? Hey, that was unfair. There was no shadow. How was it supposed to know where he's gonna come from? Since he's getting burned by the fire, he does take gradual damage. So I think fire was the way to go. Second phase. Bro, he picked up a fucking pillar. This guy's insane. I didn't know that. first try. He still has so much health left. not hitting me right now. <laughs> We're both on our last stretch, come on. No, 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 I'm so close. Look how much health he has. He's like nothing. Nothing. And I have everything. Right, the freeze frames. <laughs>
I just wanted to see if he would be gone for good, okay? Wait, look at him, like, looming in the background. <gasps> oh, wait! No! Can you eat him? <laughs> no. I don't think it's legal to eat penguins. <laughs> wait, just seeing, like, him standing, like, menacingly in the back is a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Oh, they took our girl. Ah, oh, who could he? I think we're gonna pause for Kirby today. Uh, yeah, it looks like there's gonna be a few more worlds until we can actually save our friend. Our, our GF, Sag. Oh, to a rival continent, ooh. Well, that's a pretty shot. <laughs> okay, so let's return to town. See if there's anything new. Ooh! You have power-ups. Let's go. I don't think we can upgrade anything because we didn't do any of the secret like treasure levels so next week i'll have more found wait look how sad this guy is now <laughs> sad i want to see what the power-ups are what those are all about <laughs> hi there welcome to the waddle d's item shop we sell items that can give you temporary power boost in a few different ways. You can use even more than one at a time. Whether you can mix a few together or just double up on one. Oh, we can double up? Ooh. Wait. You can only take one item with you at a time, though. Keep that in mind. Wait. How, how can I double up if I can only carry one? That's kind of D.U.M., isn't it? Okay, since we're playing easy mode, I probably won't need health. But this one would probably be good for, like, the boss fights. But we'll start with this one, see how it is. Hi. Okay, I think I'm gonna heal up and then do, like, maybe one more- One or- Okay, two or three more games. Of the, the of the shop. I need to redeem myself. I got fired three times today. <clears throat> okay, so let's do a few shifts at the shop again to kind of cool down and then we'll switch gears to Animal Crossing. Yeah, I'm not gonna get fired this time. I'm gonna do it. 
We're not going to let the pressure get to me. We're going to make sure everyone is served and happy. Service with a smile. Hi. Wrong way. Oh, okay, I thought I lost, I thought I lost. I score maybe come on dude 48% customer service score this kind of shit no I did not get a high score okay one more time I need to be my high score one more time I'm not addicted one more spin baby well oh, I did the wrong thing See, a hobby I think I want to get into is cake decorating. Loki Haiki think it's because all these like cake decorating videos come up on my For You page, but like I think I could do it. I think it'd be really fun to try. I'm not necessarily interested in like the fondant aspect of like decorating, but like ice in the cake definitely looks really fun. Because like you know the trend where like People are decorating the cake to look realistic. I think it's fine. But, like, imagine, like, all of the hard work you put into, like, making this really nice, realistic, rendered cake. And then you just cut it in half just for the video. Seems kind of sad. Feels bad, man. Oh, I missed one customer. If I would have been faster. Yeah, I think I'd be good at it. Well, I serve the same amount of people, though. It's like, I'm really good at decorating cookies, like icing. Like, my gingerbread cookies always look fucking great. I think I did a stream with Cutely, where for... I think it was for Christmas. No. I think, yeah, it was Christmas. Like, we decorated, like, sugar cookies on stream, like, in a Zoom call. And, like, it was really fun, because we gave each other, like, prompts on what to decorate, and it's really, it was a cute stream. The audio was fucked up, so we, it's, it's the footage is gone, because the audio was just so fucked. But it was a good time. How do you even get into that, though? I feel like, we'll do one more time, one more time. <laughs> I want to grind up some money. Like... I know that a lot of people like do cake decorating for like, um, I guess independent work for like friends, family, or like even doing like freelance. But I feel like it's a good skill to have because as with, as with most like any craft, like it's going to help like your skills in other areas too. Like it's going to help with your precision, like your creative, like ability, like your imagination. Like I, I think it'd be a fun hobby to get into, but it's definitely like an expensive one. No, oh, but I want to get into baking, like, actual baking. Because, like, I know it was cliche for everyone to get into, like, bread baking during, during pandemic. But, like, I want to, like, learn how to bake sweets. And granted, I don't need to be eating more sweets, but I think it'd be fun. Oh! Faster, come on! Oh, I could have done one more! Oh, it's a 31. Let's fucking go. One more, one more customer. No more orders. Easy. We got a 65%. That's pretty solid. Who knew high score, baby? Okay, I'm happy now. I'm happy. Yeah, I agree. Baking is better than cooking. I, I fucking hate stovetop cooking. Like, standing there, 
stirring a pot is not fun to me. Like, it gets hot, it gets stuffy, I get bored. Like, just tossing stuff in the oven, it's a good time. Okay, good. I got my daily fix of the day. Okay, so... I think we can go ahead and switch gears to... An ad break. <laughs> and then after the ad break, we'll switch gears to Animal Crossing. So if you're new to stream how Animal Crossing works, um, it's usually more just chatting, more chill vibes. Feel free like ask me questions, chat amongst yourselves, talk to me, that type of thing. Doing our dailies. Ooh! I'm excited for Animal Crossing today because if you saw on my Twitter last night, I accidentally got a three-star gold island. So hopefully, maybe, KK Slider will show up today. But before we switch gears, I do have to change my cartridge, so it's gonna be a few minutes anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a few ads. You can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewing all month long and super cool sub only emotes. Also, um, oh, if you link your Amazon Prime to your YouTube, you're gonna get a free Prime sub every month. I know my Prime sub went out to Rainy Day Games this month. Or. If we have any secret Oilers, gentle reminder, Oilers, if we hit 50 subs, we get three new emotes. Let's fucking go. Anyway, and go ahead, switch gears to Animal Crossing. We will see some of you guys in a few. Get a snack. Get some water if you need it. Okay. That was good for Kirby, though. We got another world done. We finally beat the hectic frenzy mode for the kitchen. Upgraded a lot of our power-ups. It's a good time. Okay. I'll switch out the cartridge. I almost sat down and I almost missed the chair. <laughs> Good one. Okay, so let's... Oh no, oh no, oh no, please, please, nothing, please. Dude, I'm gonna fucking cry if this stupid fucking game cartridge is broken. I'm literally gonna fucking cry. I ejected it, I put it back in. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, everything seems fine. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're saved. Yeah, let, let's think of a title now. <clears throat> oh! AK Slider. Parentheses might. Okay, we're good. I was close. Okay, channels now change. KK Slater might parentheses be here. <laughs> Looks like we are good. I dude, I got so fucking scared. That that'd be bad. That'd be bad. We lost everything, bruh. Sag, sad day. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timlet, it is 12.49 p.m. on Wednesday, May 18th, 2022. Now today, I have one very special announcement. The incredible, amazing musician K.K. Slider is here visiting Timlet! Not only that, but Mr. Slider has a graciously agreed to put on a special concert for everyone on the island. Stand by for a direct feed from the concert venue. Hope you all enjoy the show. Finally, we get terraforming! Let's fucking go. Oh. Right away, okay. Hey, Tiblin. It's real groovy being here today. Feels like this dream I once had. When I was just a scruffy pup with a shoebox guitar. I was dreaming of hitting out on my own, wandering wherever the, wandering wherever my road would take me. Dreaming of finding a magical place where cool cats like you would come together and see a stray like me. Sorry about that. I do run on. Time to get your fingers snapping. Hi, cutie. Lee. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well. Can you do a raspy voice? No. I, I don't want to farm the sims too much, okay? <laughs> Right on. This one goes out to all you cool cats on Tiblin. I missed it. Fuck. Everybody. What? We beat the game, guys. We finally did it. We beat it. There's one emote I'm looking for in specific. I really hope I enabled it. But it's the one Pepe where he's like black headsets and he's just like, like this, listening to music. Or is it? part about like the credit cut scene you seeing the different like foliage in the air like seeing how there's like leaves and petals and snowflakes like that transition is so good it's so subtle but it's so cute Thank you so much. Maybe I'll catch you next time. That was good. Finally, we did it. Dude, I cannot wait to show you guys what is credential for a three-star island. Oh. Hello, Megan. Did you enjoy KK's concert? It was wonderful, wasn't it? I'm overjoyed that we could get him to play here. <laughs> when he said, beep boop. <laughs> uh, Katie, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special thing for sure. 
As a commemorative gift, I will have a song Welcome Horizons for you. To listen to it, you'll need an item that can play music. And I do hope you enjoy it. Oh, I have some big news too. Nikki is apparently very fond of our island now. He's gonna perform our show here every Saturday evening from now on. It really is amazing. Nibble was once a deserted island, and now we can host important concerts? I'm so thankful to you and everyone else on this island. I guess my getaway package idea is a success. I hope Tibble remains an enjoyable place to, to live for a long time to come. With your help, it will. Speaking of which, I developed a new app that should help you make your island even more inviting. Let me send it to you now. <coughs> Finally terraforming! The app I've just sent you is called Island Designer. It's a special app from Nook, Nook Incorporated that gives residents the ability to take part in bold island development. At first, you only have permission to create paths, but once you can use your mouse to access more options, like different kinds of paths and permits for changing our cliffs and rivers. Once you get a taste of island design, you'll want more. I encourage you to obtain all the necessary permits. Yes, Timlet has come a long way. I think I'll leave more and more of the future development of this island in the hands of its residents. Yeah, do make us do the work. Fucking grandpadalism. Okay. I'm glad we had this talk. On behalf of Nook Incorporated, I'm excited about our continued partnership and your Tiblin plans. Dude, it seems like I do all the shit around this island. It's literally so unfair. Okay, before we get started today, let's walk around the island and see how I qualified for three stars. Like, it's actually kind of crazy how I qualified. Like, yesterday, I know I said that, like, I wanted to start, like, cleaning up a little bit. So I cleaned up all the trash from my beach because, like, I know I said I wanted to do a gag. Or like, ooh, I'll do a beach cleaning idea, but it, it was actually dumb. It was DUM. So there's nothing here. There's a single carnation. We got a bunch of houses, a bunch of fruit trees. Because the only thing that I really changed last night before I did like my evaluation off stream, oh, there's Kiki, was I just picked up all like the loose items. I want to teach you one of my reactions that you might not know. Sound good? Watch this. How are you? Warm enough for you? Please works well as a simple greeting. Try it. <laughs> oh, and then Plucky left yesterday. Sag. Hopefully we get someone better. Yeah, I think the upper levels are all still the same. The only thing that I kind of changed last night was I rearranged my flowers a little bit more. So now the rolls are a bit cleaner. And then... <clears throat> I, I moved my crops over here too. Because like ideally I want to have them all across here. Flowers up top. I want to have like a single row of each color. Like a rainbow order, so once we get all the flower colors, we'll rearrange this again. And then... Because I know I said it yesterday. Where's the map? But in like the bottom right corner, I want to have like the city area, so I have all the buildings and the houses. And then in the center area, I'll have flowers, my crops, and then trees. And then in the upper tippy top levels, like the light green, I want to have like... Essentially like... An outdoor exhibit, so I'll have like statues of animals and stuff. Did it? Yeah, I didn't go searching for a new villager yet because Plucky was supposed to move out today. No, yesterday. So I think we could do that today. We can do like one, one or two new tickets if we have time today. So actually, we can probably start with that. Maybe we can find Aurora today. Please give me Aurora. <laughs> Okay. 
but I was honestly really surprised that somehow my island was three stars because like as you can see I, I still didn't really decorate and like I'm surprised that she didn't say like I had way too many trees because I, I have a fuck ton of trees on my island so, I mean it's I, it's fine um It is now 1 p.m. Okay, so I think we can do the villager islands first because I want to get that. That way we can do it first that we don't run out of wait that uh, that we we don't run out of time today. Because like I would do like the Animal Crossing segments longer, but I think an hour is good. Because I definitely want to keep stream ranging from like three to four hours. I don't want to do like a four to five hour stream. Because like I know we we could do like two hours of Animal Crossing every day, but I don't know if I want to. Oh, dude, these are fucking expensive. Do two k each. Yeesh! Okay, let, let's buy all these, I guess. Because, like, I'm not... Ne oh, okay. I know I said earlier, I don't necessarily want to terraform my island too much. Like, I want to keep the original, like, terrain, I guess. Because, you know, I don't believe in deforestation. But, like, the main thing that I wanted was the paths. Okay, I think we can do one prediction. We can do one prediction for Animal Crossing. So this is not like a gamble prediction. This is not based on my skill. This is a prediction based off of pure RNG. Chatters, prediction is up. Do you think we will get Aurora on this island? We have had no luck so far. But a chatter did say they got Aurora at their campsite. So there is a chance that she might be at an island. We have one key in yes. If only the more points I got in yes, maybe, it, maybe it'll manifest more. I don't know. Okay, I think we're ready. Yeah, I don't think I need any more tools. I think we are good. Dude, if I... Literally, if I get Aurora, I'm gonna cry. I know I said I was gonna cry earlier when the game fucking crashed. But if I get Aurora, I will cry happy tears. Which I have not cried happy tears in a long ass time. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I get some praise in chat? <laughs> like, please, give me Aurora, please. Where is it? There it is. Some peace I too praise. Hey, please. Please. I want her back. It'll make today another great day if we get Aurora today. Yesterday, I know it was a great day, it was a great stream, but if we get Aurora, I dude, the, today's gonna be a great fucking week. Okay. Hey, where are they? They're not here. Oh! Wait.
It's not her. It's not her. <clears throat> Alfonso. Hey! Nice to meet you. I'm Alfonso. I'm visiting this island today. I'm sick. <laughs> You're Megan from Tiblin? That's real cool. This island's real neat, right? Let's have some fun together while we're both here. Okay, you guys know the rules. Anytime we go to an island and it's not fucking Aurora, we run a poll. Alfonso. I spelled Alfonso wrong. Let him in, baby. <laughs> no. Looking for your one. Ah. Damn, I was gonna have. Okay, the options are Alfonso. Let him in, baby. Like, bring him to our island or not. Nah, keep looking for her. <laughs> keep looking for her. Parentheses Aurora. <laughs> okay, okay. Poll is up, guys. Go vote. You guys have it in your hands. Do you guys want to bring Alfonso to our island, or do you want to go to another island and keep looking for my one true love, Aurora? You guys know the right answer. Yeah, as we're voting, pull us up for a few minutes. Let's get to deforestation. Well, I should probably... Probably bring some of these coconut trees back, huh? I keep forgetting. I mean, Alfonso is kind of cute. Like, the little, like, not filled circles is cute. But he did say it's a me, like Mario. I mean, Alfonso is not Mario. Yes, they are wearing red, but they are not Mario. Wait, wait, wait. Today's stream, do you want to just, like, look for Aurora the whole stream? Is that what we want to do? Do you have a lot of Luke Miles tickets? No, I don't, but I have a shit ton of miles. So I can- we can- today, if you guys want to do, like, an Aurora hunt, we can do that. Because I, I think I have, like, nearly 100k miles. Like, I can buy a lot of Nook tickets today. I kind of do- I kind of want to do- I kind of want to as well. <laughs> But we can make the title Searching for My One True Love. I lost her. <laughs> <laughs> we can totally do that. If you guys want to do it, we'll, we will run another poll. If we want to do Aurora hunting today. Because, like, I know everyone's cliche is like, ooh, searching for Raymond. But I literally have Raymond already. So... Okay, so we have to keep looking for her. Let's do another poll. Let's do another one. Okay, we got two chatters saying they want to search for her. Okay, let's get this one up and running. Search for Aurora. And if we do this for the rest of the stream, then I'll just do dailies off stream. Yes. Okay, new poll is up. Should we do Aurora hunting the rest of the stream? Or do the usual? Poll is up, guys. Go vote. I'm totally down to do Aurora hunting. <laughs> but if we don't find her, I'm gonna be very sad. See, I think today I'm gonna cry. Either when we find her or if we don't find her. I will be honest. right now. The poll is about halfway done. We got a minute left. We have two votes for yes, zero for no. So guys, go vote. Use your democratic right and go fucking vote. 
You don't even need to register. You just need to have a Twitch account. Easy. Go vote. Yeah, I definitely like being able to chop the trees fully down and not having to worry about, like, killing my hair trees. <laughs> okay, let's nab one of these coconut trees. I missed. <laughs> Guys, we got ten more seconds on the pole! Go vote! Ten more seconds! Mobile viewers, I'm sorry. You had your chance. <laughs> okay. So, the poll is 100% yes, we need to go find Aurora. Let's change our title. Let's change our title. I lost her. <laughs> Finding. <laughs> I won. I think my one true love, Aurora. There we go. Title is now changed. I lost her. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a funny meme in Mipskip's chat to spam I lost her. Cause like kind of clowning on the breakup from last year. But it, it's so funny because they use that meme all the time. Okay, it has been decided we're gonna search for Aurora today. Stream ends when I find her. No, we're not doing that. We're literally not gonna do that. That is not- that is not worth. <laughs> that, that would be a great title, wouldn't it? Stream ends when I find so-and-so. That's honestly a great title. We, someone write this down. That's a great fucking title. I mean, I think any clickbait where it's like, stream ends when blank is pretty solid. I'm gonna be honest, it's pretty good. Cause, um... I think the last stream that I did stream ends... When I- I think when I get first in all 48 tracks of Mario Kart or something like that. Like, it brought a lot of people into stream. <laughs> Cause like, just the concept is like, pretty stupid and funny. Oh, talking about that, I need to do another reset if I don't get first run because I know I said I would do that stream every two months and I think the last time we did that stream was back in March so two months would be May but the last time I did that run I did it at 200 CC when the run is supposed to be at 150 but I think I can handle 200 CC like I've gotten a lot better in the past two months so I think I can do another 200 CC run of it but it was gruesome oh Okay, take a few steps back, turn around, retrieve the net. Fuck. Like like I explained yesterday, when the when the bees like loop around, that's when it fucks you over. That's when you can't time it anymore. Badge. We'll get him next time. That's bees one, Megan zero. Okay, I think I'm gonna break out the question book for now. Cause like, I was looking back at VODs, like from recent ones. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad to hear that, Mac. You're always a pleasure to see in chat. It's always nice to see you, hun. But I'm glad I can make your day a little bit easier, a little bit better, you know? Yeah, that's cute. Okay, genuinely, genuinely. It makes me so happy whenever I get comments on like TikTok or people in chat saying they like the stream or they like the content. Cause like, I understand that like, I know for me, streaming is definitely like a positive outlet for me. Like it's giving me something to do. Like it's giving me a creative outlet. And also like, it's a good opportunity to like talk to people. Like granted you guys are all strangers, but it's definitely helping with, like, my speaking skills. But, like, to think that, like, people look forward to the stream. 
or like they like the clips content is like is nice because like it feels like i'm doing something good like i'm, I'm contributing to like a pause like i'm being like a positive or i'm having like a positive impact on somebody and that makes me feel good you know because like i feel like a lot of people start like content creation or streaming or like youtubing as like a means to like make money or like get famous but, like at its core it should be like you having fun and just making good stuff you know and i feel like i've for the most part stayed true to that i think that's a big reason why i don't necessarily like interact with a lot of other streamers because I feel like... Not that I've met anyone bad, mind you. I haven't met anyone bad. But I feel like... There's this kind of attitude with people... That people just do stuff based on their numbers, or they do stuff to grow. Because, like, a lot of the clips I'll see with, like, streaming TikTok, it's kind of like, Ooh, how to grow quickly on Twitch. Ooh, how to get more subs and followers. Ooh. And it's like... Just seeing that, it seems icky, right? Like, obviously the people... I guess consuming that type of content are doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah, I hate those videos too. Like, when I first, like... Okay, like, the big tip you'll hear on TikTok to, like, grow... They're like, ooh, interact and, like, follow and comment on videos that are in a similar niche to you. But, like, when I first started, like, posting, like, TikTok content, like, I was liking... And, like commenting on a lot of posts from like streamer tiktok and like a lot of streamer tiktok it's like people giving like hints that yes are helpful but like it's a lot of like not necessarily gimmicky but it, it feels fake and it's like i don't like that so thankfully my for you page has changed from like streamer tips to like stream clips so like it's usually just like clips of people's actual stream content than them talking about stream um anyway what i was going to like lead into <laughs> is like i'm watching back because like the clips for my tiktok right now are from i think february and march because the way that my tiktok is right now it's usually just me clips of about me talking about something so it's not like funny moments so like i can like comb through bods and get like 10 clips easy um okay i think i've home through this island so we can go back and go for another attempt at the find aurora run uh, anyway so like i don't necessarily have any new clips from like a month ago that are posted right now and i will like comb through vods occasionally from like recent stuff and like i talk a lot about streaming and it's fine but i feel like not a lot of people can relate to it so that's why like that's a big reason why i have like the question book because these are kind of general stuff that I can talk about. And I feel like these types of questions are more like... I can get more like chat input. Because like, I know a lot of people in my chat aren't necessarily like streamers. Or people who... I have a lot of people from TikTok. So like a lot of people are new to Twitch. So they don't necessarily understand like all the niche like stuff about Twitch. So I'm that's the big reason why I have the book... So I just have something like normal. And not that Twitch is not normal, but I have like normal stuff to talk about. Okay, let's drop some stuff off and how to out again. The zoomer. <laughs> I have a lot of TikTokers and that's fine. I love my little TikTok frogs. Because every- I think literally only like two chatters are from Hover. Everyone else is from- Oh, I decorated my room a little bit. I tried to at least. I got annoyed because I didn't realize that once you set up an accent wall, you can't change the adjacent walls. So now these walls are white and then my accent wall is this nice like dark navy cafe wall. And I can't fix it. I, I don't know how to fix it. But I like a lot of natural colors. This is what I would want my actual room to look like. I like plants. I like wood textures. Dark wood is my favorite. Like my cabinet right here is this nice, almost black, dark brown wood. And I love it. It's literally this color. 
the table doesn't match. But this is my writing area, so this is where I write all of my, um... This is where I write all of my essays for school. Totally not made fan fictions. Okay, okay. <laughs> and th this is my art desk. And as you know, I like clutter, so I have clutter on top of my wardrobe. I have a- this is my emergency suitcase, so if there's a fire, then I grab this and it has all my vital information in it. Chatters. Ser okay, we're going- <laughs> No sm- <laughs> Shit, we don't talk about that, we don't talk about that. It chatters. Seriously, have a to-go bag, meaning have a backpack that has, like, extra change of clothes, has all of your vital paperwork, has water and food in it. Because if there's an emergency and you need to get out- you can grab your bag and go. Like, I have my backpack right by my door. Because there's been times where I've had to evacuate. So, have a grab bag. It's good. Make sure you pack, like, ten pairs of underwear. If you don't know, those go quick, okay? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, back to it. I, I thought I had to go full cam because it's very important. Okay, story time, story time. There was, like, a gas leak... In a near, cause in a nearby like area, so like they had to essentially evacuate like half of my town. Um, so I remember when that happened, and cause they were like knocking on doors, they were like had, they had Amber Alerts, they had like firemen like calling people, like calling your phone. And I remember like me and my dad were ready to go. We had our grab bags, like we had shit in the car, we were ready. My fucking mom and my sister, because they told everyone to get out of town within 30 minutes. 30 minutes, mind you. Because since it was a gas leak, it could have, like, exploded the whole town, right? So, fireman told us 30 minutes. So me and my dad were ready to go. Five minutes, we're in the car. My sister, my mom, oh my god. It was at, like, 7 in the morning. So they were, like, getting ready. My mom insisted that she had to take a fucking bath. Guys, they said we had to leave in 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And my mom, dead ass taking a shower. And I was just like, what? What are you guys doing? Literally, what are you doing? Thankfully, nothing exploded. They contained it before anything happened. But guys, if they tell you have to leave, you don't fucking dilly daddy. You fucking leave. And don't be like, I'll be safe in my house. No jackass. If you choose to stay in your fucking house and something does happen. And okay, let's say... In a town of a hundred houses, if there are two families who choose to stay home when there's an evacuation order, and you guys, like, fucking get hurt or die, you're putting more essential workers, like firemen, police officers, at risk, because you chose to not listen and stay home. So, if there is an evacuation order, at any point, you take it seriously and you leave. Because you're wasting resources, you're wasting time, you're putting lives at risk, because you're being fucking stubborn and you don't want to leave your house. Anyway, that's all. That's my fucking rant. Based Megan take. If they tell you to leave, just fucking leave. Just go. Cause like, we had two of my neighbors stay home, and it's like, bruh, you may think you're fucking invincible, but you're fucking eighty years old. You are not. Anyway, that's all. That's all. Let's buy another Nook ticket. Wait, we gotta drop off. I I went to my house, wanted to drop off shit, but I did. I literally didn't do it. <laughs> Yeah, so, chatters. Yeah, literally, it could- like I said, it could have, like, exploded the whole fucking town. Like, it, it was a- it was a crazy day. <laughs> it was a crazy day. But, like, pe people are dumb. Like, TLDR, pack a to-go bag, make sure you have essentials and clothing. And if they say to leave, just leave. Okay, I'm gonna put my fruit in storage just in case because I know we're gonna have to dig up more trees. So let's put these in storage as well. Dude, I don't know why I went off right there because like it happened a while ago. Like I think about two years ago at this point. Can I get on that? Yes, right now. <laughs> and leave stream, come back. <laughs> but keep the tab open. Just kidding, Lamo. <laughs> um, like there, there are certain things that I'm like passionate about. 
And like to me, if it's anything related to like public safety or like your well-being, like I will take that shit seriously. Like Okay, another okay, when I was babysitting, story time. Like I would take the girl to like the playground and like she'd be running around playing with the kids and bad habit that she did, she would scream at the top of her lungs, help. Help, right? Because like they're chasing her, like they're playing tag. And the way I was raised, like, you don't lie about stuff like that. Like, you don't lie about, like, something bad happening. You don't lie about, like, screaming for help. Because, like, you don't know. Like, people listening to you don't know if it's an emergency, right? So, I had to talk to her. I was like, she was seven at the time. I was like, hey, you know. Please don't do that. Because I'm responsible for you. I'm your babysitter. And, like, I have to take care of you. And, like, if you scream help every ten seconds. Like, I have to make sure you're okay. And also, like... I don't know if you're actually, like, in danger. And she was like, okay, are you mad? I'm like, no, I'm not mad. I was just like, you know, you need to, like, understand why you can't, like, joke about those type of things, you know? Yeah. Like, if you have kids or if you have, like, little cousins or siblings, don't let them joke about, like, screaming for help or shit like that. Like, it's not appropriate. It's not safe for them to, like, develop that bad habit. That is our life lesson of the day. Did she stop? Yeah, she stopped after I talked to her about it. Because, like, she was- I think she was seven- I babysat her for about a year and a half, so she was- I had her when she was, like, seven to eight. And, like, she was very mature for her age, so, like, if you, like, sat her down and, like, explained things to her, she would, like, understand and, like, reflect on it. Like, she was really mature and smart. So, like... Not that I want to have kids, but, like, if I, like, ever had kids, like... I think it's important to, like, respect them and, like, understand that their point of view and their opinions are valid, even if they're still, like, little. Like, I don't think it's okay to, like, yell at a child. Like, that's not gonna help them. That's just, like, belittling them. It's making them feel, like, worthless. And it's, like, they're not going to learn better that way. Like, I think it's good to have, like, discussions with your kids. But also, during said discussions, let them talk as well. Like, discussions are not berating your child. Like, it's like letting your child speak for themselves. Anyway, Megan would be a great mom. <laughs> but I don't want kids. I literally don't want them. Kids are icky. Okay, let's go for Aurora attempt number two, baby! <clears throat> Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't understand why parents will blow up over, like, little things if it's not the kid's fault. Like, it's not- Like, to me, parents that, like, blow up over little things, like, it's just creating more mistrust between your kid and the parent. Like, it's not helping. Literally not. <clears throat> okay, attempt number two! Yeah, let's get a new prediction up. Will we get Aurora this time? <laughs> okay, new prediction is up, guys. Go place your bets. Please, we're gonna find her. Yeah, can we get some peace? I too praise in chat. Okay, I know I said, if a villager wants to leave my island and it's offline, I would let them go. But if we ever get Aurora, I'm never letting her go. I don't care if she hates me. I'm never letting her go. Literally never. Okay, we got one can down. Any believers? Anybody genuinely think this will be the, the one? Please, I want her. I want her back. How do I summon my Nook Miles? I think I got a majority of my Nook Miles from like the Nook Miles Plus. Like I usually get like 1 to 5k from the Plus. So definitely if you're just starting out the game, definitely invest in like the Nook Miles Plus app first. Damn. <laughs> 
I mean, they're kind of cute. Graham. Okay, let's run a let's run a poll, guys. Do we want Graham? Run another poll. Okay, poll is up, guys. Go vote. Should we keep Graham? Or keep searching for Aurora? Go vote, guys. Poll is up, chat. <clears throat> okay. Graham. I thought this was a deserted island, but here we both are. My name's Graham. I'm here on vacation, soaking in the vibes, and you're Megan from Tiblin, right? Indeed you are. I think fate brought us together. I hope we make some good memories, you know? Oh, big fish, big fish. Got him. First try. Not a two tapper. Not a three. Come on, four. Four tapper. Easy. God, it's not a rare fish. Another fucking bass. Dude, today's a bad day. Today's a bad day. We we haven't found her yet. <laughs> haven't found her yet. I think the only flower we don't have on the island is tulips. I think that's the only one we're missing. Hey, Graham looks like a dweeb, but he's kind of cute. Like, I think being a hamster definitely helps. I hear the mole cricket. I'm not gonna go for it. We're not gonna do it. Nukazon? No, I have not. I've heard about it. <laughs> oh, wait. I also need to check the turnip prices today. Remind me when we go back. Okay, Cha has decided we must keep searching for my one true love. I think I think we might have time for one or two more um, expeditions today. <laughs> She's waiting for you. I know, I know she is. We will find her. We one day we will find her. How many villagers are there? Like 400 or 300 something? So odds aren't in our favor, but if it's meant to be, we will find her. You know what I realized? If we don't find her today, then someone is probably gonna move into the empty plot. Like, probably tomorrow. So we literally have to find her today. Wait, what, what if we just, like, politely just pushed him into the water? Can we do that? Can we do that? <laughs> just, just, just one little shove. We'll put him in the, we'll put him in. Just one little, oh, I, I meant to, like, whack him. <laughs> no! Oh, fuck! Dude, oh, I thought I closed the wrong... That was close. That was close. I almost clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> that was way too close. I wasn't paying attention. We're fine. We're saved. It's okay. We must stay online until we find her. 24 hour stream, guys. Let's fucking go. No, we're not doing that today. <laughs> I mean, I'm positive that we will find her. But if we... Oh. Can you take a few steps back? Retrieve the net. Easy clap. First try, guys. Megan won. Bees won. Oh, 
thoughts on Wendy's? I love Wendy's. I ordered Wendy's, I think, probably two weeks ago. And I ordered from the store that usually makes me, like, not feel good. But I was fine. I didn't throw up. I didn't have diarrhea. It was a good time. So I think that restaurant, that location has redeemed itself. I feel like every fast food chain should have, like, a shitty fish burger. Because... For the first time, I think Popeyes right now has like a limited time like fish burger. And it is genuinely so good. I feel like most do. I, I think so too, but like honestly. Like the only place I can think of is like McDonald's and they just have the fish fillet. I can't think of anything else that has like a fish burger. Yeah, the closest Popeyes to me is like nearly an hour away. It's so far away. So we don't get it often, but when we do, it's always good. The only like demerit to like my Popeyes is that they literally never get the ticket, right? Like they'll ring up the wrong item or like when we're missing something from the bag. And it's like by the time we get home, it's like too late and it's like literally not worth. Like it's an hour away. It's, it's not worth our time to go back. And I feel like the thing with, like, missing something from your order, like, are you really gonna make a big deal out of, like, being scammed out of a $5 item? I, I hope not. Because, like, it's different if you paid, like, let's say, like, $30 for a sit-down meal. Well, like, if it's, like, a $3 sandwich, are you really gonna, like, go livid about it? One time, we got McDonald's and like, we were like already home, so it was like a solid 30 minutes away, and like they forgot a sandwich, and it was like a fish fillet I think it was, and it's like, my dad was like, we need to go back, we need to call them right now and get a refund, and it's like, dad, it's, cause like, whenever we go to McDonald's, my dad always order, always over orders that we have like, lunch and dinner, so it's like, it's not worth like you're gonna call the location and they'll be like do you have your receipt yes you want to come back sure it's like it's it's three dollars it's nothing like it's not like they poisoned your food like the, okay the only time i will complain if at a food place is if there's something wrong with the actual food like if there's like a hair in it if there's like foreign contaminants in it i've told the story about how i had glass in my drink tldr if you weren't here for that story I got a smoothie from a drink place, and I got a raspberry smoothie, and I took a sip, and it was really crunchy. And I was like, whoa, why are the seeds so crunchy? It tastes like literal sand in my mouth. I dumped it out, and there was little clear glass shards at the bottom of my cup. So that's how I had glass. That's our new title, How I Accidentally Ate Glass. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm not capping. This happened. And it, okay, it happened two days before Halloween. No, okay. So th that's essentially the whole glass story, right? And like, okay, so I went back to the place. I, I I, was like, I have my receipt. This is what happened. The lady did it. It was the manager. It was the manager, mind you. And it's like, the first thing she asked me, do you want a refund? And it's like, honey, you could have asked me, are you okay? Do you need medical attention? Literally, those, those, that should be the first thing you asked. Not do you want a fucking refund. Anyway, I don't go to that place anymore. So... <laughs> okay, I think the reason- like, I actually think what happened... Because it was a coffee stand. Because their espresso machine is like right over their ice bin. So I can only assume that like the little glass espresso shot fell into the ice bin by accident and shattered. And then the just like the ice got into the drink. Therefore glass got into the ice bin and glass got into the drinks. I think that's what happened. And they wouldn't refund it? I feel like... Uh, 
Okay. Like, I can understand, like, a mistake in the kitchen. Like, I'm not gonna be too mad. Like, if, if it's not gonna kill me, then I won't complain. I'm like, you know, if there's a hair, it's like, uh, whatever, it's gross, but still, like, it's not that bad. Like, I think it's reasonable. I think you're fine, Katie, to, like, ask for a refund. I think that's reasonable. Like, as long as you don't throw, like, a hissy fit, like, I think it's fine. As long as, like, people are mature about it. Like, I don't- I think it's fine to ask, you know. You wanted to go full Karen. Good thing you didn't. <laughs> you want to be known for that shit, though. Get new eyes, though, yeah. Because, like, okay, another reason why I went back to the store to report it is because, like, that's a huge food safety concern. Because if that happened to me, what if it happened to somebody else? Like, you don't want somebody, like, biting on glass, right? That's not cool. Thankfully, I was fine. I went to the hospital. They were like... Oh, no. Okay. Let's just talk about the whole fucking story. Because <laughs> um, I know we have um, new chatters here. Okay, I think I think we have time for one more chance at Aurora. Um, so, TLDR. I went to urgent care. We called... Okay, we were gonna go to the ER, but we were like, you know, we, we don't really need to go to the ER, it's just like little pieces of glass. Because like, thankfully, they were like the size of like, they were no bigger than like two millimeters, so they were very small. Um, so, we called urgent care. They're like, hey, I ate glass. They're like, oh shit, you should go to fucking the emergency room. That way, because like, at the ER, they have more equipment than an urgent care center, right? So, we went to the ER... I told the nurses what happened. They were like, oh my god, that's crazy! And I was- <laughs> Okay, I was like fine, because like at that point, it was like three hours after it happened, so like I was kind of chill, I was like goofing about it. And like, I was telling- I was goofing with the nurses. I was like, this is probably gonna be the crazy story you're gonna tell your husband when you get home, right? They're like, ah, you're so funny! And I'm like, yeah, I am! So we went to the ER. Thankfully, like, it wasn't life-threatening, so I didn't necessarily get seen right away. But I had to get a chest scan. That way they could see if there was any pieces like in my stomach. Thankfully the, the pieces were too small so it, did, it wasn't in my stomach. But they were like, you know, you'll be fine. You'll just like shit it out probably. I was like, cool. So yeah, that, that's the story of how Megan ate glass and almost died. In real life, not a video game. Crazy times. I mean, that is honestly, like, such a good hook for a story, though. Oh my god! I remember this one time. <sighs> I got into, like, this, like, playful, like, squabble with my old co-worker. And I don't know what we were talking about. Well, let's get a new prediction up for, will this be an island with Aurora on it? Last prediction of the day, guys. Go Gamba. Um, I was having, like, a little, like, squabble with my co-worker. And we were like, we were, okay, we were like weaponizing our own traumas, okay? So I jokingly said, you know, this happened to you, but I fucking ate glass. And he was like, well, I did too. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, fuck, I thought glass would be my trump card. Nothing can beat fucking eating glass. And he was like, yeah. And he told me a story about like how he would, he, I think he got a sandwich or a burger. And... He bit into it, and he bit into, like, this big-ass shard of glass. No, He has no idea how it got in there, mind you. But, so, he also ate glass. We were like, oh, we can trauma bond now. Let's go. <laughs> but thankfully, he was fine. He just got, like, a little cut on his mouth, but thankfully, it was a major. Okay, let's see. Is she here? Badge. Who put 6k in doubt? Doubters are just getting more brazen. <laughs> okay, where'd they go? We lost them. We lost her. Oh, I had this guy before on my other island. They're fine. I was going big. <laughs> we didn't have any believers, though, so you probably got all your points back, Sag. 
I mean, that's good for you, but... Okay, let's run a poll. Should we keep Hippex? Or, I don't, I don't know how the fuck to say that. Let him... Okay, poll is up for Hippex. <laughs> Did we let Hippex come to our island? Or wait till next time and see if we can get Aurora again. Well, hello there. Bet you didn't expect to meet someone like me in a place like this. The name's Hippex. I'm a hippo about town, or in this case, about islands. And you must be Megan from Tibland, right? We should probably stick together, don't you think? Now I- Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait for chat to decide. Badge. I, I honestly knew we probably wouldn't find her today. But maybe next time. Ma next time we'll find her. While we're waiting for the pool, <laughs> let's find a question. Okay, I don't know about y'all, but I haven't flown in a long time. The last time I went on a trip, like on an airplane, was back in 2018. So, oh my god, four years ago. Sheesh! <laughs> um... But my parents are the type... Okay, my parents, they will arrive to everything late. Because they have the mentality where it's like, you know, the cool people show up late to the party. But the only time they will ever show up early to anything is the airport. We will get there, no joke, three hours early. I understand that TSA takes hours sometimes, but we don't need to get there three hours early. And I remember, because like... The last time I went, I was like 19. So like, I was old enough to like wander the airport on my own. But they would still be like, no, you are going to sit by the gate for two hours. We do not care. So, <laughs> like, I don't mind like loitering at the airport. Like, I think it's cool to like walk around and see like the different like art pieces or the different shops they have. But like, they get there early just to sit by the gate for hours. And it's like, we could have left the house literally, like, maybe an hour and a half later than we did. So, like, if I traveled on my own... I, okay, honestly, I'd probably get there early still. Like, I wouldn't get there, like, three hours early. But maybe, like, an hour or two hour early. But three hours? Insane. Like, you don't, you literally don't need to be there that early. See, like, I agree. My mom, she used to work at an airport, so, like, she she had to deal with, like, a lot of shitty people. And she had to work at the customer service counter. So she dealt with all the crazy people at the airport. Um, I feel like just traveling in general is stressful, like, on its own. And, like, it's very easy to, like... Because you're already stressed about, like, going to a, an area, especially, like, international travel, where you might not necessarily know the language. Um, where you're, like... Because, like, I think a lot of it has to do with, like, you can't, like, hold your baggage. Like, I know I feel anxious when, like, I have to put my suitcase on, like, on the cargo plane. Because I'm like, you know, like, shit gets lost and you're like, oh, if it's lost, oh well, I lost all of my belongings. That fucking sucks. Like, just having that in the back of my mind definitely does stress me out. But, like, I don't think there's any excuse for, like, for you to be, like, rude or shitty to the workers at the airport. Like, you should still be nice. Because, like, they have to deal with people all day. Like, similar to any service job, like, just be nice to them. Especially when they're the ones, like, handling your ticket or handling your luggage. Like, you should be nice to them. <laughs> I haven't flown since I was little, sad. I want to, like, travel, but, like, in order to travel, you have to have money. So, I can't, I can't be doing that literally anytime soon. Because, like... I know when you're younger, like, i.e. like, just out of college or just out of high school, it's normal to, like, go to a foreign country and travel. But, like, I never got to do that. Because, one, it costs money, so... 
And like, I know a couple of my friends did, but like, they're not gonna tag me along, you know, because they're broke too. But, like, I wish I could travel. Especially when I'm still young and like agile. Because my mom, she worked for the airline since she was like 20 something and she stopped working when I was born. So she worked for the, her company for like 5 to 10 years. And she got to travel a lot when she worked here. Like she got discounted rates. And it was great. And she was able to take my parents on a lot of like trips and vacations too. Like I think working for an airline would be cool for that benefit. But now, like even to be like a flight attendant, you have to have some sort of college degree. Which, like, I understand, but also, like, how is your degree gonna help you, like, maintain a flight? Like, I don't- I don't understand how that's relevant. Talking about not having money! It is time for an ad break. <laughs> I have to fulfill my contractual obligation and run a few minutes of ads. So, you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad reviewing all month long and super cool sub only emotes. Or if you have a Prime account, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account and your free Prime sub every month. I know my Prime sub went out to Rainy D Games. So, oh, also, Oilers. If we hit 50 subs, you guys will get three new sub emotes. Isn't that fucking cool? Isn't that poggers? Anyway, get a snack. Get some water if you need it. We will see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> I think it's so funny to think of like transitions for the ad. I think it's fucking hilarious. What was this one? Talking about not having money? <laughs> Oh! Get back to the game. I used to like not understand the appeal of watching VODs until like I started working more hours at my old job. Because like when you work you don't have time to watch stream unless you like watch on mobile, which mobile sucks and I refuse to. Like, I would come home from work and like watch the, like, the 8 hour Hassan VOD every night and like fall asleep listening to it. But the only thing I don't like about VODs is you can't necessarily control like the ad density. Like, I think for most VODs it runs like a 1 minute ad every 15 minutes. So the ad density for a VOD is definitely a lot higher than a live stream. And I have no control over it. So guys, any people watching the VOD, hi VOD watchers. If you don't like the ad, subscribe. I know it's not ideal because you can't be here for the live all the time, but like if you want less ads on the VOD, you can also subscribe and get no ads on the VOD too. So keep that in mind. <laughs> oh, but if you're watching on YouTube, you might have literally no ads. VODs and podcasts carry work. Oh yeah, for sure. Because, like, when I was working, sometimes they would let you have earbuds in, because usually they would have, like, the like the work radio playing most of the time, so, like... But we still let people wear earbuds. Like, I usually would listen to, like, music. Because since I was working in food service, you're, like, talking to people all the time. And it was definitely, like, overwhelming listening to, like, the customer talk and then having, like, a podcast in your ear. So I think I definitely would listen to, like, my own music. <clears throat> But my work place was cool, like, we had the work radio, but also, we could, like, choose our own music that we liked. Like, as long as, like, the songs you played were work safe and appropriate and no curse words, we could put it on the radio. So, I still have my work playlist saved, and it has, no joke, like, over a thousand songs on it. Because my personal mix is, um, 2000s pop and then, like, alternative rock and, like, some hip-hop, I guess. And I still have that playlist saved, because, like, it's all the songs that I like. <laughs> I'm still sad we didn't find her. 
Feels bad, man. We'll find her one day. If it's meant to be, we will find her. And I need to paint a new background. I literally need to do that. I think I'll do that on Friday. Off stream, mind you, off stream. Because today I need to do homework. Because as I mentioned before, once I have more like wallpapers made, there will be a channel point redemption to change my wallpaper. That way chatters can like have me switched out for the other one I made in the stream. That is the plan. genuinely surprised that the stream didn't F a lot today. Like, it didn't drop at all. I'm genuinely surprised. Because, like, I woke up to the Amber Alert with, like, storm winds approaching. Like, super anxious. Because, like, I know, like, tech issues aren't necessarily my fault if it happens. Like, if the internet's down, then oh well. But it still, like, stresses me out. Because a big thing to me is that I understand that people will like subscribe for emotes or like ad free viewing, but like to me, I understand that Twitch is like a free platform. But also like I feel like if I miss a stream, I feel bad for the people like paying every month for it. Like I know that my sub count is fairly big for a channel my size, and the reason why it's fairly big <laughs> is because I give my chat a lot of subs. Like, uh, if I look at my user, like, profile, I have gifted myself, like, 52 subs over the course of since January. So since five months now. So a big handful of my sub count is from myself. <laughs> Which is fine. I don't care. I think it's funny. Because um, I've, I've explained in the past, like, usually the people who get a gifted sub will like resub once they like either see that they have ads now or like they lose the emotes like i've gotten a few resubs from people who got gifted oh thank you mac i appreciate it <laughs> um but, like i feel bad if i miss the stream because like i understand like people will pay that extra and i feel like they deserve like content right i don't know that's usually why like i i for the most part am able to stick to like the three days a week and similar to like the past few weeks, if I miss a day, I will always reschedule for the following day. Uh. But for the most part, I'm able to stick to it. Which I'm very proud of myself for. Yeah, I agree. That's why like, I will be very transparent if I ever have to like reschedule the stream. Because like, you ever be at a stream and they're not feeling it or when you can tell vibes are off and like i feel like today this week has been a great week like i'm in a better mood i'm getting a lot more sleep i feel like i'm more hype in general like during the stream i feel like this week has been a good week yeah it's definitely uncomfy because like the, the parasocial andies who are like in chat like are you okay you you seem kind of off today like don't say that a big reason why you don't say that is because obviously if this the chatters can sense that something is wrong the streamer is probably not feeling well as like good as well so don't point it out if you see it just don't say anything like just try and stay positive in their chat room like don't bring it up like it's only gonna make them feel worse so just be like keep being a wholesome chatter i'm not saying just for me but if you're in other streams and you can see that something is off just keeping positive keeping nice because if they're streaming when they're obviously in a bad mood, they probably need, like, a positive, like, reassurance from, like, their chat room, right? Because, like, I know a lot of people see streaming as, like, an escape. Like, a positive time of their day. That's why I appreciate my chatters, because you guys are usually pretty wholesome and nice. So, I really do. And if you guys are ever gonna be 
little trolley shit bags, I will stop it right, the, right away. <laughs> I said it yesterday, but like literally, if my chat room ever gets to the point where you guys are like mean or like way too trolly, then I don't, I don't know if I could stream. It's like then it's not fun anymore, right? Okay, I need to reset my game player. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Oh, dude, that couch is so cute. I this is literally my couch. Liter I literally have this couch in my room. It is a carbon copy. Fourteen hundred, easy. Bought. Why is that 140k? Somebody explain to me why a whole ass kitchen set is less expensive than this shitty ass connected stove to sink. 140k? Guys, that must be made out of fucking sterling silver or titanium. My god. 140k. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Oh, I thought these were pillows. <laughs> I, I guess they're like flower sacks or something. <laughs> but they're pillows. Oh, no, they're not pillows. They're fucking sacks. Oh, wait. Where, like, how much are turnips? That's what I was supposed to do today. $300. $300. Dude, I bought my turnips for $100 and they have not even passed $100. Cause doesn't the turnips usually peak on like Wednesdays or Thursdays? They better be a hundred dollars tomorrow. If not, I'm gonna cry. In a video game and real life. <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and save for now. So at start of stream, I said that we're doing something slightly different today. Um. So we're not going to do you laughy loose. We are going to do um, reacting to clips. So let me get that set up for you guys real quick. Okay, let's change my headset. <sighs> okay. So every month we do reacts to clips. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, thank God. I thought the audio was was echoing, but it wasn't. We're fine, we're fine. Okay. So reacting. Right now, I'm changing my title. Okay, so last month we did a segment where I reacted to my favorite um clips from stream. <clears throat> okay, so essentially, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Okay. So, every month I like to do a segment where I react to clips I made of channels that I like or I enjoy watching. So you will see a few like small streamers, you'll see a few like big streamers. Um, if you're in chat, if you could tell me if like I need to bump up the actual clip audio, because I know what I hear is different from what you guys hear. Um, let's see. I still fucking love this clip. <laughs> uh, this one, it's okay. You guys know I say imagine a lot. I fucking picked it up from Ludwig, and it's basically Miss Kiff calling out all the fucking Lud buds and chat. And it's such a good clip. Okay, so these are all from last month. 
No, this one is a good one. This one is a good one. I hate this little piece of shit now because y'all say that I look like Shroomish. I don't look like Shroomish. My name is just kind of like Shroomish. Oh my god, my name okay. is just a little bit like Shroomish's. I don't look like Shroomish. I don't look like Shroomish. Okay, if audio is too high, or if it's like good. Shroomish. Okay, it's good. I don't look like Shroomish. I need everyone to know that. I don't look like him. I, I, I. Stop saying two. It's not copium. It's not go. Okay. You've looked. So, friend of the show is Scootish. Newly partnered streamer is Scootish. He has, like, literally only two 7 TV emotes enabled. And he says, Ooh, it's not Kelpium. It's not Kelpium. Nobody is fucking typing Kelpium in chat. Literally nobody. Literally nobody is typing Kelpium in chat. Look, wait, let me scroll. It's not scrolling. Literally no one is typing Kelpium. Literally nobody. Nobody. <laughs> he just doesn't even have the emote enabled. Fuck off. Fuck off. So it's a running gag that. He looks like Scootish. I don't make the face. 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 I don't make. That's not. That wasn't the face. That wasn't the fucking face. I hate that you all voted that I look like Shroomish. I hate this little piece of shit. It's good. It's good. I I think Scootish is in a very similar realm to me where he plays like usually Nintendo stuff. So. If you like Nintendo, you'll definitely like Scootish. He's essentially very similar to Ludwig. So definitely a good channel to check out. We have a few clips from him in my compilation, I think. So. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. This one? Okay. Oh my god, Hassan is alive? Maybe. You think it'll work? Okay, I'm gonna try. No, you're going the wrong way. Okay, for context, um, he was, like, reacting to people, like, bending pans. And th this is, like, one of the clips you save for later, okay? Wait, well, how do you do it? Oh, like this. Yeah, you're trying to bend those in. Oh. Oh, oh my god. What? Oh, my god. <laughs> it's not even that hard. Oh my god, look at him, oh he's so god. strong! Oh my god! Dude, I think you just found Jesus. I did it! That's crazy! <laughs> that Do I have the power of Allah on my side? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks kind of small. Uh, it, okay, I myself have bent a pan as well, so I, I am fucking... Yoked as well. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, can you guys see that shit? Can you guys see that? That little bit of definition right here? I'm not all flab. Okay, I got some muscle. But yeah, dude, if I could... I love Hassan, okay? I love him. <laughs> I, I like a big guy, okay? <laughs> I That clip was for me. Like, I wanted to zip a little bit. Okay, let's see what else we got. Okay, it is. Oh, that was the clip. Oh, yeah, that's for me. That's for me. Oh, dude, I love Fresno. I love Fresno so much. Should I become a furry? Like, are there furries that don't, like, <laughs> don't, like, practice it, but, like, once in a while, they just, like, put on the suit just as, like, just to add more to the community? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Like that, yeah, like Batman? Question mark. <laughs> okay, if anyone doesn't know, um, Prezzo, he edits for like a lot of like YouTube creators. He does edit for cold ones, but don't bring it up in his chat because that'll piss him off. But Prezzo, I think Prezzo is on my auto. It's like it's <laughs> like it's so funny because usually when he plays Mario Kart, like he usually like focuses on the game, doesn't talk much. But this was a streamer. I think he got drunk. But he was just rambling, and he just went on this, like, little furry tangent. It was the funniest shit. Like, at the end. At the end, right here. <laughs> like, ba yeah, like Batman. Yeah, like Question Batman! Mark. Should I become a furry? 
<laughs> was so good. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dude, I have a lot, a lot of clips from Scootish now that I look at it. Okay, th this was okay. This was a good sound bit. This was a good one. I'm so mad at. I'm so mad. I'm so I'm so angry. I'm so angry that I'm on baby goddamn work. I'm so pissed off. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> He's like, I'm so angry. Smile. <laughs> it's genuinely so How funny. I use a mushroom. I use a fucking mushroom. How do you out speed me? I use the. Ah! This is him. I'm so angry. Smile. Oh my god, my rage. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Dude, I wish oh I typed dear. that shit in chat. It's oh so good. Dear. Just having the chat potentially oh spam smiley anger. faces it knows no would, would be the funniest oh shit. God. Oh my anger. Oh, it's climaxing. Oh, my anger is climaxing, boys. It's not good. Oh! I'm so mad at. I fucking love when Scootish plays Mario Kart because he always like over exaggerates and it's the funniest shit. Oh my god! I just realized I typed in chat "angry," not "angry," <laughs> but that that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Okay, this one, okay, chatters, if you're listening, you have to watch this one. The part of the joke here is you have to watch it. I just want to actually make you laugh, I promise. He was reacting to videos from chat, I think. To put a toaster in a bathtub full of water. Guys, your toast would get soggy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <should> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> just want to actually make you laugh, I promise. Pause, champ. <laughs> Why shouldn't you put a toast? <laughs> yes, yeah, okay. Also, wait, look. Look how many views this clip got. I got 24 views. You know why? Because I titled it just ellipses. Literally, I got so many views on this clip. Oh my god. It was good. It was good. Because, like, I think Prezzo streams my time like 9 or 10 p.m. so that's when i'm already feeling kind of loopy <laughs> okay this one was good this was a good friend of the show mbb she was in chat earlier this was a good moment this was good hashtag not sponsored ah! see <laughs> see that that's called skill <laughs> That's called keeping calm in a in a situation and knowing exactly what to do. Ah! Oh, wow. Not not that time, but <laughs> but normally I'll do better. That was good. Emmy's usually more chill. She's not extra, but it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's like I like to clip stuff during the live because one, it's funny looking back at like good moments. And also, in my head, I try and clip stuff during lives that'll make, like, a good TikTok video. So I'm like, like the Scootish clip earlier where he's like, I'm climaxing! I think he actually posted that clip on TikTok, but he cut out the climaxing part and, like, that was the best part of the clip! Scootish, what are you doing? His... Yep. Yeah. I have so many song clips, it's not, it's embarrassing. What the fuck is going on? We got CRT in this game? Hell no. Hell no. I need to turn it off. My god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the CRT effect kind of sucks anyway. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's right. What is the CRT that's effect? Right. I, I that's don't... exactly. Hey, listen, look at that. Look, look at that. Oh, all of a sudden, <laughs> dog shit. I hate it. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? We got CRT. I, I love when he does like the the Republican bit. It's it's really funny to me. Because just the voice is like spot on. It's so good. <clears throat> okay, this is from the trolley problem. I think it would be a good stream game, but I feel like that'll get like the debate Andes. Because like, like, you know the original trolley problem where it's like, 
Would you pull the lever if the train will kill three people instead of five people? My answer to that trolley question is no. I'm not pulling any fucking lever because if I intervene, it's indirectly my fault if I kill the three people. Even if I'm killing less people, I still pull the lever. And that's just my mentality. Five, of course. <laughs> but yeah, my answer, no matter who's on the tracks, no matter how many people, I'm not pulling the lever. It's not my job to decide who lives or dies. That's just my mentality. Like, if I don't believe in fate, but like, if those people were meant to die, then oh well, why should I intervene? That's just my thinking. I think it's because like I'm very, I'm a very passive person. So like, literally all my answers for those trolley questions are, I will never pull the lever. I do not do it. I do not care. I don't know. It's a morality question that I think would be good for a stream, but I think these trolley problem dreams are good when you have like a lot of people watching so i think this would be a good game to come back to once i'm like a 75 candy <laughs> i meant to say 75 person but i said 75k dude 75 000 people that's insane but yeah i think that'd be a good stream game for when we have more people in chat <clears throat> okay this one's a good one this is a longer clip but it's good i'm sure she'll be able to move out of the way I'm sure she'll be able to move out of the way. Come on now, it's a massive trolley coming down. She'll be able to move. Achievement unlock, kill the child. What, Polly? Get out of the way, Polly. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition, to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. The game is really good. If you haven't played it, play it on, play it on your own for sure. Okay, I'm gonna be real here. <laughs> Let's be honest. If Polly didn't fucking notice an oncoming trolley, <laughs> then she probably wasn't gonna become a doctor. It's on PC. Okay? I think so. I think so. It's so, it's on Steam. We already crossed that bridge for her. You know what I mean? <laughs> I literally, sure dude. If you. If you are like brain dead enough to not see a fucking oncoming tray, you you probably deserve to die. Let's be honest. <laughs> ah! yeah. Oh my god! I love when survivors fall from the sky. Oh my god! Can somebody clip that? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I love when survivors fall from the sky. Oh my god, can somebody clip that? <laughs> I okay. You you always see me like smile when I watch my friends because it's it's fun watching your friends stream, right? Rainy did game, she was in chat earlier. But she plays a lot of DVD and like her commentary has improved drastically over the past few months. Like she'll like have bits, she'll do improv and like RP and DVD, and it's the funniest shit. But this this is just like a five second sound bit, but it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, th this one was a good moment. Uh, sad, no girls trip. Sad. <laughs> I am so sad that girl's trip got canceled. I mean, it was the right thing to do, but Badge, it was sad. But I think, okay, my, my favorite thing is like seeing how other streamers interact and because like if you see like your favorite streamers interact, like you know their personalities and to see, it's interesting to see how like their dynamics like play off of each other. Girl's trip would have been fucking the best event of the year. Why did it get canceled? They had a COVID case, so everybody had to isolate and go home. Sag. Uh, I mean, it happens, like, when you have a, a gathering, it's bound to happen, but it still it still sucked. They did the right thing by canceling, but... Sad. But there was so many good moments. Like, I know that Cutie Cinderella, I think she was, she's on my auto-host as well, but she has highlights up on her YouTube video. 
or on your YouTube channel. So if you missed the event, watch the VOD or watch the YouTube highlight because like it was good shit. It was a good stream. <clears throat> There's another rainy clip. Could he like really good? Oh my god. He's like Mario Kart. Oh! I was a bit distracted. So here we go. Here we go. And I know the little trick here. I know I know the little trick right here. Never mind. Never mind. Everyone shut up. Never mind. That was oh. It could be like really good. <laughs> Okay, you guys ragging me all the time. Megan, you suck at Mario Kart. It get fucking good. Okay, you guys don't actually say that, but it, I picture this what you're thinking. But Rainy played Mario Kart on stream for the first time, I think, last week. Dude, it was so good. Because <laughs> she, she had no idea how to play. And I think the best moment, because like she didn't have a full lobby, so she would have like a few viewers and the rest would be computers. And she'd be like, Screw you guys. I got 8th place. I still beat some of you guys. But the people behind her were all computers. So she was gassing her up the whole stream, herself up the whole stream. Being like, guys, I'm so good at this game. I'm beating some of you guys. And she was literally beating the computers. And they were easy computers. <laughs> oh my god. I think she put this post on, or this clip on TikTok. Let's fucking go. It was good. It was good. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. I don't like these other clips. They were fine, but yeah, I think that's it for React Andy today. Was that good? Did you guys have fun? <laughs> like I said, I think we're only going to do the the clip segment like once a month because that was like a month worth of clips because like, I clip a lot of stuff, but I don't clip like everything, you know. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm glad you liked it, Mac. Because <laughs> uh, I think it's good to see, like, which streamers I myself like and get to show you guys the channels that I like and enjoy. And, like, all the channels that are on my auto-host or, or that I showed today, like, you'll see me in their chat room. Like, I'm a fairly active chatter. So, because, like, in my head, if I'm watching a stream live, like, I'm going to want to be, like, engaging, typing in chat. Because that's the whole, <clears throat> like, appeal of a live streamer, you get to interact one on one with the the streamer or the broadcaster. Yeah, if you if they're on my auto host, you'll see me in their chat. I promise you. Got you interested in watching a song? Yeah. If you don't watch his Twitch streams, like pop into them occasionally. Like he has, he usually does like politics and then reacts and then gaming copium sometimes. <clears throat> but yeah. Um. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and call it a stream here. So thank you to anybody who came in the stream. I, as always, had fun hanging out with you guys. Um, I will be live again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST with the Super Mario 3D World run. I think I want to add another stake to the 3D World run. Nobody leak. It will be announced officially tomorrow, but... I think something interesting, similar to what we did yesterday. Any subs, gifts, cheers, or donations will make me lose a one-up. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because I know the run is already, if I game over, I gift a sub. But imagine. <clears throat> I'm not telling people to do it, but imagine. If someone cheered. Like 500 bits separately, and I would have to lose five one ups. That would be crazy, right? That I think don't don't feel okay, chatters. Nobody leak, but don't feel obligated to do it. But I think that would be an interesting stake to add. Because, <laughs> like, honestly, I want to farm a little bit. Okay, I want to farm a little bit. But I think that would be interesting. Because, like, imagine I'm like about to. I'll have to think about it this night or tonight. But, like, what if the rules are, like, immediately, once someone cheers a bit, for example, I have to lose the one up right then. 
Like, what if I'm, like, about to beat the level that I was grinding for 15 minutes, like, a long-ass time, and then someone cheers, and then I just immediately have to die? Wouldn't that be crazy? That'd be crazy, huh? Because, like, I think that inspired me for, like, those type of stakes, because, like, I think it was... Who was it? I think it was Mizkiff. And then also people did a similar thing as well, where they will, like, mod a game to where it'll, like, link to their donations and stuff. That way, like, let's say, for example, if someone donated $5, it would make their character, like, like, the buttons were beaten in reverse. Like, they would mod the game. That way, anytime, like, anyone gave money, it would, like, cause, like, a handicap in the game because they coded it that way. Like, I think that concept is interesting. I know I don't necessarily have the setup for that, but we can, like, manually do it. Or, like, I can just do it. I think that's, I think that'd be a fun stake for tomorrow. So, like, I'll think about it tonight. And I'll have it finalized by tomorrow, so that will be announced tomorrow. But yeah. I think it'd be funny. I think it'd be funny, like, just picturing me grinding a level for 40 minutes, and I finally, like, figure out the mechanic, and then somebody just fucks me and donates and makes me die. I think that'd be really funny. <laughs> that's really fun, yeah. Because, like, those, those charity streams were good, but I, I like the idea of, like, having people's donations do more in the stream. Because I know I don't necessarily have, like, sound alerts or that type of thing, because I personally find them annoying. But I think having... For certain games, having donations or subs or bits, like, affect the actual gameplay is interesting. To do occasionally. But if people like it tomorrow, we can have that as, like, a permanent stake to the SM3D World Run tomorrow. Or, like, forever. I don't know. I'm getting comfy. I have my knee up right now. I can't see it. But I'm getting comfy. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, that's what we're doing tomorrow. But we can go ahead and raid out to friend of the show, I am JFD Downs. They are playing Stardew Valley right now. Wait, I gotta put the raid message. Okay, so if you are new to Twitch or new to stream, I'm gonna end stream. We're gonna head over to, down to Downs' chat. So if you are... In non-sub, you can type in his chat, Peace Raid. And if you are a sub, you can do Peace I2 Spin, Peace Raid. Oops. And then Peace I2 Spin. Also, gentle reminder, I only raid out to people I know or I'm friendly with, so be nice in their chat. I will be in their chat for a little bit, not too long, because I gotta go eat lunch. But, and if you are a sub, you can do Peace I2 Spin, Peace Raid, Peace I2 Spin. So copy and paste those messages and type those in his chat when we head over there. As always, I enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. I'll see you all tomorrow. If you aren't already, go follow my offline social media accounts. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow my Twitter. You'll get updates about stream and also funny haha stuff occasionally. Also, I try to repost the singing clips. So yeah. It's not often that Downs plays Stardew Valley, so hopefully. Okay, honestly, the favorite my favorite thing about like Downs. Oh, I spelled his name wrong. Is that his laugh? He's British. He has an accent, and his laugh is literally so contagious. It's hilarious. <laughs> there we go. I did it right. Okay. So we're going to be heading over to Jade. Oh, hi, Rose. Oh, sorry. We're literally just ending. I'm sorry, Rose. <laughs> but we're writing out to a friend of the show, Downs. So I'll be in his chat for a little bit. But oh, I'm sorry, Rose. You came right at the end. Hi, Rose. I'll type in shit. Bye. I don't about. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 11 a.m. PST, with the SM3D World One. As I said earlier, something new will be added tomorrow, so be there tomorrow. Make sure you have go live notifications on. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!